in the industry as a whole, you also have people abiding by rules that don't really make sense. Uh, the first is, is that uh, female-driven action movies don't make money. Uh, when I was working at Universal, uh, the manuscript for Hunger Games came in. And it was the only thing that I had read and enjoyed as much as the first Harry Potter book. Um, and I went in the next day and said, this is a lot of fun. It reminds me a lot of Harry Potter. We should buy it. A and the response was, that's ridiculous. Female-driven action movies don't work. Um, and, and so it, it was just dismissed out of hand. Um, and it's interesting to me, if you look at two of the three biggest franchises of the last 15 years, Twilight and Hunger Games, neither was released by a major studio. Warners, Disney, Sony, Paramount, they all passed on it. Paramount actually put Twilight into turnaround once they already owned it, because the assumption was female-driven action, female-driven franchises don't work. Um, and that's countered all the evidence. Um, you know, Hollywood has spent years trying to focus on young male audiences, and they seem to forget Titanic, um, which obviously made quite a bit of money. Um, it made quite a bit of money because it turns out that young female audiences go to movies a lot, and they go to the same movie over and over and over again. Um, and, and that is ultimately why movies like Twilight and, and like Hunger Games are very successful. Also, that they're very well executed by people who know, know the business quite well. So when you're shooting, why not shoot the behind the scenes? When you have your cast on set and they're in between breaks, why not use that as a time to go and do some little interviews you can release on YouTube to help build your audience, to get them do their own tour of the set? You know, we had a team of 10 people working full time for 18 months, uh, is really how we, you know, how we got it seen so widely. And that was, you know, from website people, tech people. We had one guy who for a year, he just booked community screenings.